Hello students, welcome to SYFT, skilled youth for tomorrow. Let's discuss a very important and interesting lesson of quantitative aptitude, both and strain. The question based on both and strain requires knowledge of mathematics calculation and formulas related to this lesson. Then let's start. Some important things to remember about the lesson both and strain and they are Downstream and upstream. Downstream. In water, the direction of a boat along with the stream is called downstream. And in water, the direction of a boat against the stream is called upstream. Thing to remember is that when we move upstream, the speed gets deducted from the speed of the stream. And when we move downstream, the speed gets added to the speed of the stream. Let's go through the formulas for boat and stream. If the speed of the boat in still water is a km per hour and speed of the stream b b km per hour then the formula will be in case of speed of boat with the stream. The formula is speed downstream is equal to a plus b kilometer per hour and when the speed of boat against the stream speed upstream is equal to a minus b kilometer per hour a here is the speed of boat in still water and b is the speed of the stream and if we need to calculate the speed of boat in still water the formula will be speed downstream plus speed upstream divided by 2 and if we need to calculate the speed of current then the formula will be speed downstream minus speed upstream divided by 2. Let's go through some examples. We'll start from the easy one to get the better understanding and clarity. Here in this example the question is saying that if a boat moves Equal distances downstream at a speed 20 km per hour and upstream at a speed 10 km per hour, then what is the speed of boat in still water? Let's discuss the question here. The speed downstream is 20 km per hour and the speed upstream is 10 km per hour, which is given in the question. And the question is asking to calculate speed of boat in still water. We have already discussed the formula to calculate the speed of boat in still water. That was speed downstream plus speed upstream divided by 2. So here speed downstream and upstream is given in the question. So we need to put the values in the formula which will be 20 km per hour plus 10 km per hour divided by 2. So 30 by 2. So the answer will be 15 km per hour is the speed of boat in still water. Let's solve some questions based on the formulas above. Here the question number 1 is saying that a boat goes 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours and in 13 hours, it can go 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream. The speed of boat in still water is, options are given here, 3 km per hour, 4 km per hour, 8 km per hour, 5 km per hour and none of these. Let's go to the solution. Suppose that 30 km upstream is covered in 3x hours and 40 km upstream. 30 km upstream is covered in 3x hours and 40 km upstream. Here upstream and there in the second case 40 km upstream. So 40 km upstream is covered in 4x hours. Now in case of downstream, let's assume that 44 km downstream is in 4y hours and 55 km downstream is in 5y hours. 
then we will get two equations from this. First is 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 hours. It is given in the question. So, upstream plus downstream is in 10 hours. So, 3x plus 4y is equal to 10 hours. And then in second case, upstream plus downstream is equal to 13 hours. So, here 4x plus 5y is equal to 13. So, after solving these two equations, we will get the value of x and y from these two equations which will come to x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. And now we will put the value of x and y in the equation. So, we will get that upstream speed is 30 km by 3x. Here we will put the value of x. So, 30 by 3 into 2. So, we will get the speed of upstream speed which will come to 5 km per hour. And we will get the speed downstream also from the equation. So, 44 km by 4y. We will put the value of y here. So, 44 by 4 into 1. So, we will get the downstream speed which is 11 km per hour. Now that we know the upstream speed and downstream speed, we will put the values in the formula. So, speed of boat in still water is speed downstream plus speed upstream by 2. So, 11 plus 5 by 2 which will come to 8 km per hour. So, the speed of the boat in still water is 8 km per hour. So, answer will be C here in this question. Question number 2 is saying that a ship 55 km from the shore springs a leak which admits 2 tons of water in 6 minutes. 80 tons would suffice to sink the ship. But the pumps can throw out 12 tons and are the average rate of sailing that she may just reach the shore as she begins to sink is. Options are given. Let's solve the question. The question is saying that 2 tons of water in 6 minutes. 2 tons of water in 6 minutes. So, in 1 hour, it will be 2 by 6 into 60. 20 tons of water in 1 hour. But the water thrown out by pump in 1 hour is 12 tons. So, water which is entering the ship is 20 tons per hour. And the water thrown out by pump is 12 tons per hour. So, in 1 hour, the actual water entered into ship is 20 minus 12 is 8 tons. So, 80 tons would suffice to sink her. So, it will take 10 hours to allow to enter 80 tons of water into ship. So, the ship is having 10 hours to cover the area of uh, the distance of 55 kilometer. So, and in this time, ship has to cover 55 kilometer of distance. So, the required speed will be 55 divided by 10 which will be 5.5 km per hour and that is our answer. So, the answer will be D, 5.5 km per hour. Question number 3 is saying that a man who can swim 48 meters per minute in still water, he swims 200 meter against the current and 200 meter with the current. If the difference between those two times is 10 minutes, what is the speed of the current? Here we need to calculate the speed of the current. All the options are given here. Let's calculate. Let speed of the current be x meter per minute. We are assuming that the speed of the current is x meter per minute. Then 200 by 48 minus x minus 200 by 48 plus x is equal to 10. So it is given here 10 minutes. So we will get this equation and we need to simplify to get the value of x. So, 20 bracket, round bracket, 48 plus x minus 48 plus x is equal to 48 plus x, 48 minus x. So, 20 into 2x is equal to 2304 minus x square. Now, after simplifying this, x square plus 48 minus 2304 is equal to 0. By this, we will get the value of x which is 32 meters per minute. So, the speed of the current is 32 meters per minute. 
so answer is d thank you students for learning with us i hope that the above lesson was useful for you please do write us your comments and suggestions till then enjoy learning